everyone, this is Ben Jones, CEO of Data Literacy. I'm here today to present the 2019 Data Literacy Awards. These are public voted awards in five different categories. We're going to go through one at a time. So as I mentioned, you know, I'm the CEO of Data Literacy. So what our organization is all about is helping people speak the language of data. So what better way to do that than to celebrate the things in 2019, the content, the people that help us do that. And so that's what this is all about. So we'll start with the very first award, which is the most insightful data book. Each award is going to have three levels. The bronze award for this data book category, this goes to Data Visualization, a handbook for data-driven design, second edition by Andy Kerr. So Andy is a, a freelance data visualization expert. He's the mastermind behind visualizingdata.com. That's visualizing with an S, not a Z or a Z, as Andy would say. Now, this book was published just back in September uh, by Sage. Financial Times, guess what they called it? One of the six best books for data geeks. And it's got over 200 images in it, lots of how-to and also how-not-to examples. So congrats to Andy Kirk for that bronze award. The silver award for the most insightful data book category goes to a name you're going to hear a couple times today. And that is uh, Cole Nussbaumer Netflix's new book, Storytelling with Data, Let's Practice. Now, this book is a sequel to her wildly popular Storytelling with Data book, longtime number one bestseller in the business mathematics category on Amazon. Her latest book, Let's Practice, was published just a couple months ago in October by Wiley. And what is the sequel all about? It's about delivering fresh content, lots of new examples, over 100 exercises for people to just build their skills. Okay, so congrats to Cole. The gold award for the most helpful, most insightful data book category goes to How Charts Lie by Alberto Cairo. I have it actually right here, sitting with me on the table. Now, this book is uh, all about helping us be able to spot deceptive visuals, know what about them we should watch out for. But on the other hand, also, you know, how we can take advantage of the good ones so that we can understand complex stories. Uh, this book was published by Norton back in October on the 15th. As of today, it can be found in the top five categories on three, top five list of three different categories on Amazon. The statistics book, where it's number five. Communications category, it's number three. And the media studies category, where it comes in as the number one book as of right now. So congrats to Alberto. Again, we should expect to hear his name at least once more before the awards show is over. If you take a look at the voting, um, this one was pretty close. Uh, Hell Charts Lie came in with just over one out of three of the votes. You can see Storytelling with Data right there at about uh, one-fifth, 21%. And then Andy Kirk's book, Data Visualization, a handbook for data-driven design, coming in at 17%. Others receiving uh, one or more votes, Info We Trust by R.J. Andrews, Data Story by Nancy Duarte, Data Loom by Stephen Few. Some amazing authors on that list as well. All right, next category most helpful data, data video channel, okay? So much of the content we consume now is on video, just like this. And so there are people out there making amazing tutorials and reviews and uh, tips and tricks and putting it out there on YouTube and other channels. So you all voted for some of the best data video channels and let's see what they are. So number three is the Information Labs YouTube channel. This has over 6,000 subscribers as of today. 166 videos, right? Seven of them were just published yesterday, so they're really at a rapid pace now. Now, the Information Lab, that's one of, I think, actually the longest standing Tableau Gold partner in the UK. They also specialize in Alteryx tutorials and, and tips and tricks. So their most popular video to date is all about advanced conditional formatting in Tableau. That's got over 184,000 views. So kudos to the Information Lab and their team. It's also a German channel uh, that they have uh, for, their, for their team based out of Germany. The uh, second winner there, the silver winner of the um, most, most helpful data video channel goes to Playfair Data. This is Ryan Sleeper's channel. Ryan is a Tableau Zen master. He's the founder of Playfair Data. And he's on a mission to be the best resource for turning raw data into valuable insights. That's what he's all about, okay? Now he's got this video channel that he's been putting out there, helpful Tableau, data visualization, analytics and strategy uh, videos. 
And so his most popular video as of right now, three ways to make lovely line graphs in Tableau. Some alliteration there. And he's got over 11,000 views on that video alone. So congrats to, to Ryan and the Playfair team. The gold award goes to Guy in a Cube. And now this is run by two guys actually, Adam Saxton and Patrick LeBlanc. They both work for Microsoft. The channel's not affiliated with the company officially, but they are actually providing tutorials and reviews of mostly uh, Microsoft products like Power BI. Um, and now the way they've been building this channel over time is remarkable. They have almost 500 videos as of right now, 81,000 subscribers on YouTube. And what they've been doing is every week they put out at least four videos. There's a Monday roundup. There's a Tuesday, two minute Tuesday they put out there. And then Wednesday and Thursday they do tech videos relating to Power BI and other products. And they just keep that going. So a lot of people love their channel. So congrats to you three, Information Lab, Playfair Data, as well as Guy in a Cube for winning the top uh, data video channels. If we take a look at the voting, you can see that Guy in a Cube was a wild runaway there. 50%, over more than half of the votes went to that channel alone. So a lot of Guy in a Cube fans out there that voted. And so you can see that Playfair Data and Information Lab also came in at about one in eight votes. Lots of others receiving votes, the Story by Data uh, channel. Eager Eyes TV is a brand new one that's put out there there by Robert Kosara with a real creative and innovative take and, and informative around data visualization. Also Datasaurus Rex uh, is another great one. Super Data Science, you may uh, be familiar with some of those. So those are some other video channels for you to check out as well. So congrats to everyone who got mentioned or written in and uh, obviously the vote the winners as well. All right, next channel, next award here rather, is the Most Interesting Data Podcast. This is the third of five awards. Some of us that are commuting long distances, we like to listen to these interesting podcasts that people publish about topics of, of uh, interest to us. And so let's take a look at who won this uh, award. The Bronze Award goes to Data Viz Today with Ali Torben. Ali's based out of Washington, D.C. Now, uh, she, on her podcast, dissects tools, methods, techniques used to create today's top data viz. She has over five, she has a five-star rating today on Apple Podcasts based on 54 reviews. And speaking of 54, there's 54 different episodes that she's posted to date. So congrats, Allie, for winning that uh, bronze award. The silver award goes to Data Stories by Enrico Bertini. Moritz Steffener. This is the first podcast in the data world I ever listened to. And now they've been doing this for a little while. They've got 153 episodes to date. They've got a 4.5 star rating based on almost 400 reviews, 390 to be exact. And on this podcast, they discuss the latest developments in analytics and visualization. They bring on interesting guests to talk to. And so I highly recommend you check out Data Stories by Enrico and Moritz. And then the gold award for the most interesting data podcast, well, that goes to Cole Nuffleck. Again, her storytelling with data. She has a podcast to go with the book and her uh, workshops as well. She's been doing this for uh, 25 episodes now. She's got a 4.9 rating based on 59 reviews uh, on Apple Podcasts. Now, uh, she is on this uh, podcast covering topics related to data storytelling, presenting data, better presentations in general, and then just data visualization in general. So. Congrats to Cole for winning the top award there. Uh, and also look at the voting. You can see Cole got one in three votes. And then Data Stories came in with 13.8%. Data is today, just over 10% there of the vote. Others receiving one or more votes. You can see the Policy Viz podcast by John Schwabish. The Super Data Science podcast by Kirill Aramenko. Also Data Skeptic, DeepMind, Data Crunch, Data Talk, BI Brains, Analytics on Fire. That's by Miko Yuck and others. So a lot of great podcasts out there for those of you who like to take in information that way. Next to last category is the Top Data Community Initiative. What's a community initiative? Well, this is really a project, a challenge, a society, a, some kind of a discussion group, anything that's really around uh, bringing people together, having them do activities and network and connect. And so anything that builds community, right? There's so many amazing data community initiatives out there. Let's look at who won this award. The Bronze Award goes to the Data Literacy Project. Now, this uh, project is headed up by Jordan Morrow, and it was launched by this BI software company, Click. Also, other founding partners, Accenture, Cognizant, Experian, Pluralsight, and others. Now, they are uh, trying to ignite a discussion 
uh, to see what it would take to develop tools as well as skills to shape a successful data literate society is what that project's all about. So check it out at thedataliteracyproject.org. Silver Ward goes to one of the most amazing stories of 2019, the Data Visualization Society. Now this was founded in February of last year, 2019. So almost a full year ago, as Elijah Meeks, Amy Sissel, and Molly Pettit came out of the Tapestry Conference in Miami in November of 2018, decided they needed something to get people together in the data visualization space as a discipline. And they founded this amazing society that grew to thousands of members almost overnight. It was really amazing to see. And you can see uh, their site there, the da or just datavisualizationsociety.com. They have a Slack channel where you can join and have interesting conversations with people all around the world talking about this topic. So congrats to Elijah, Amy, Molly, and all the others that have been brought on board to help them with events, with writing, and uh, you know their, their um, medium channel called Nightingale. Just amazing stuff they've been cranking out since the day they launched. So check them out. The Top Data Community Initiative Award goes to Makeover Monday. Now this is this amazing project. It's been going on for over four years now. Originally founded by Andy Kriebel and of Information Lab and Andy Cotgreve at Tableau, where they basically put out every single week a visualization and a data set and challenged people to say, what can you come up with? Well, this project has grown and grown and grown. Right now, it's being run by Ava Murray, as well as Charlie Hutchison. And so Ava and Charlie, every single week, what a labor of love. They put out all these amazing topics and data sets. They curate uh, and give feedback. They have a conversation you can see online uh, on Twitter and other channels. And so uh, congrats to Ava and Charlie, also Andy and Andy for getting this thing started and, and for uh, where it is today. It's a really remarkable thing. Over four years running, 344 plus makeovers to date. Makeovermonday.co.uk is where you can see that uh, project. And if you look at the voting here, uh, we saw Makeover Monday take about one in three votes as well. Data Visualization Society, second place with 18%. Data Literacy Project with 11%. Other amazing community initiatives taking votes in this contest were Prep and Data. That's by Carl Alchin, based out of the UK, which is all about using Tableau Prep. Uh, the SWD Challenge, that should sound familiar by now. That's Cole Naflick and her Storytelling with Data Challenge. Uh, Project Health Viz, that's from Lindsay Betzenthal and others. Also Workout Wednesday. Dedicated Weekly. These are great uh, initiatives to get you involved, testing your skills, interacting with other people that are also uh, doing the same. Okay, So congrats to all those mentioned and all the winners of this category. All right, this is the one you've been waiting for. Last but not least, the Data Literacy Advocate of the Year. So many talented people in this space right now, just creating content, interacting, publishing books, videos, podcasts, like what we've seen here, helping people, you know, day in and day out, get better at working with data. So who are gonna be the winners here? There were a lot of people that got written in here, a lot of people nominated, right? So the bronze award goes to Cole Naflick. You've heard her name twice already. The book ends well as the podcast, so it's no surprise to see her here in this final category as well. So Cole, how can we say, I mean, what can we say about her, right? The founder and CEO of Storytelling with Data. She runs training workshops. She has a whole team doing that for her now. The author of these two amazing best-selling books, the voice behind the SWD podcast, the organizer of the SWD challenge. Cole does it all, and people love it. The silver award goes to Adam Saxton. Adam was written in here. And he is the Principal Program Manager at Microsoft, focusing on Power BI, SSRS, SSAS, and as we've seen, the co-host of the wildly popular Guy in a Cube video channel on Amazon and other channels. And so um, Adam got written in there, and, and as you'll see here, came real close to winning it all. But who's going to be at the top here? Who's the winner of the Data Literacy Advocate of the Year Award? Well, I'm sure you're not too surprised to see Alberto Cairo up there at the top. Alberto Cairo, he is the uh, journalist and designer as well as the Knight Chair in Visual Journalism at the School of Communication at the University of Miami. He also is the director of their visualization program there at UM, the author of The Functional Art, The Truthful Art, How Charts Lie, regular blogger on um, 
functionalart.com. And he consults with uh, top companies to run MOOCs for people all around the world. Is heavily active on social media, just putting interesting content out there. And just an all-around champion for the, the discipline of data working, data literacy, data visualization, all the above. So kudos to you, Alberto. Also, Adam and Cole. Look at who else was mentioned here. So as you can see, as I mentioned there, Alberto and Adam were really close, neck and neck to the very, very end. In fact, on the last day of voting, it switched uh, there from Adam to Alberto being at the top. And so look at other people who got votes there. So many people got written in. Jordan Morrow, we mentioned his name already with the Click Data Literacy Project, right? Andy Kriebel, uh, we mentioned him well both at the Information Lab where he's the uh, head coach of the, the data school there as well as the, uh, the uh, original uh, co-host co of Makeover Monday. Um, Andy Kirk, we talked about him. Also some new names for me, uh, like Ruth Pozuelo Martinez. Um, I didn't know who that was. I, I had a chance to learn more about uh, Ruth uh, just by looking her up and following her. You know, So hopefully there's some people on this list too where you can benefit from that as well. Valerie Logan just started up um, the Data Lodge. You might want to see uh, what she's up to these days. Other people we've mentioned already, Carol Aramenko, Andy Cotgreave, Ava Murray's on that list there. You can see Ali Torben as well. Others that weren't mentioned, but who are doing amazing things like Bernard Marr, Jane Crofts, who is really one of the first people who is talking about data literacy at all. And so you can t uh, take a look. She's written a, ch a children's book on the topic, doing so many amazing things there. Georgia Lupi on the artistic side and the design side, uh, and also you know, author, a co-author of Dear Data a book that really got people into thinking about how data is a human thing, thinking about how it applies to us in our personal lives. Lisa Charlotte Roast over there at Data Rapper in Germany, uh, hosting a Data Viz book club, and just so many amazing people doing all these great things. It's just so such a pleasure to see what they're going to be up to. Looking forward to seeing what they do in 2020. Looking forward to seeing new names that pop on this list that are not on there today because those are individuals that really haven't stepped forward yet. And so encouraging all of you out there to, to do that in the coming year. All right, so there we have it. Five categories, 15 winners, dozens of others mentioned. The 2019 Data Literacy Awards was a true pleasure for me to run and host, watching the votes coming in uh, almost on refresh right there every single day for a better part of a week and a half and just enjoying every minute of the process. Uh, next year, I hope to... Um, take a look at a couple new categories, right? I want to talk about creative learning approaches, free learning resources that are highly valuable to all of us, just to shine the spotlight on those amazing things that are being done. So with that, I'll wrap it up and say congrats to all the winners. I would like to um, wish you all the best. Happy New Year. Happy New Decade for those of you who started at the zero, not the one, okay? Up to you. But, um, but again, just all the best to each one of you. All the best as you continue to learn how to speak the language of data, how to teach others to do the same. Okay, signing off, Ben Jones with Data Literacy. Thanks everyone, bye now.